without school, I wouldn't be where I am today. I went to a, uh, a preparatory school in Massachusetts, which is a little bit different from the way you do things up here, but I went to an all-guys school from uh, seventh grade to 12th grade. I don't think you guys, you guys have 12th grade here, no. So, oh, we grade 11, sorry. And um, I used that to uh, go to apply to Princeton University, and I went there for four years to New Jersey. And uh, I got a degree in political science, international relations concentration, and um, kept playing hockey. And fortunately, the Canadians gave me a, uh, an opportunity here, so um, I'm, I'm very fortunate. And um, you know, without my studies, I don't think uh, I'd be where I am right now without that background and that foundation. So, um, if I had one, uh, one tip of advice, you know, your education can open a lot of doors for you. So, um, listen to your teachers and work very hard. and. Possibilities are endless. Yeah, I really liked it. Um, we got to play with the with four hockey players. We got to play with the goalie, and I sc I scored two goals on him, so that was very fun. I would have liked it if PK was there, but he got injured really bad at the neck. But it was still really fun, and I was honored to be there. I remember Mike Condon and Andre Ghetto. They were shooting around and like doing tricks to get past defenders. We got to see the conference room where all the players get interviewed. Any questions at all? Doesn't have to be about school or anything. My man, what we got? Well, who was the hardest player to stop? Hardest player to stop? Well, right now it's probably Galchenyuk <laughs> in practice. He's, uh, he's scoring a lot of goals right now, but uh, Alexander Ovechkin's a, a very hard guy to stop. He's got a really, really hard shot. So. He's not fun to play against. How many times have you got injured? How many year? times have I gotten injured this year? Uh, <laughs> zero knock on wood. I don't think we have any wood around us right now, but uh, zero so far. We all, at this point in the season, we've played 67 games so far. So um, it started in like August 25th. And now it's March 11th, and it's a long year, so you have a certain amount of bumps and bruises, but it's all about you know working hard in the gym and keeping yourself healthy. It was really fun. I liked it. I loved it. Um, I liked playing with um, UP and the hockey players. I was I was um, goalieing with Mike Condon. Every time he couldn't save, um, I saved it, and he actually turned to me and said that I was a good goalie. Uh, Friday was a, an incredible day and um, we had a great time. We, we had the, the opportunity to meet a few of the Canadians players and uh, we even uh, got to listen to them uh, give us a few speeches and tell us about how important education is and how to stay in school, uh, how it brings us, uh, it helps us get to where we want to get. Uh, especially Michael Condon spoke to us about his, his, uh, his education parcours and, and how he got to where he is today. Um, it was very uh, motivating. My favorite part, I think, was uh, when the hockey players played ho uh, soccer with the kids. Um, it was a, a concrete, um, fun experience. Uh, if they listened to uh, what uh, Mike was saying, um, I think that they see that uh, when they put their minds to, when they set their minds to what they want to, to do in life, uh, that if they, they work really hard, that they can get what they want. Ali, Ali, Ali.